Hello, my beautiful people. I'm Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Before we get started tonight, I just wanted to show you the completely dry result of Prancing Tiger Hidden Dragon. And this tried so pretty. Just lovely shine on it. Lots of bling in here through the gold and the, all the empty copper. I love this pink tourmaline mixed with that empty copper. I really like that blue quartz color. So this one turned out really, really cool. This is Prancing Tiger Hidden Dragon, and I will link this up there for you in, in the corner so you guys can see. Go away, moth. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Being attacked. Yeah. Attack of the killing moths. Okay, so we have here a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back, put the push pins in. Let's scoot that out of the way for a second, and I will show you my colors. Uh, tonight we are using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. My pouring medium tonight is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and the paint. There's no water in anything. Not super, super thick. Just a slight mound before it melts. So that's our Metallic Cobalt Blue. Very pretty color. I'm also using Amsterdam Naples Yellow Le Yellow Deep. Oh, Naples Yellow Deep. Okay. <laughs> There's the Naples Yellow. Very pretty color. Soft and buttery. Very rich. Very warm. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Then we have Folk Arts Treasure Gold Series in Fire Opal. And I haven't mixed it with anything tonight. This is just it by itself. And if you look at it, you can see there's that coppery sheen on it, but this one is a lot more pink than I remember it being. But that's okay. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So this is our Fire Opal from the Treasure Gold series in Folk Art. Okay, and then next we have Golden's Quinacridone Burnt Orange, which is one of my favorite colors. Such a beautiful, rich, deep color. Just gorgeous. So that's our burnt orange from Golden. And then we have Amsterdam's greenish blue, which is very, very happy, beautiful color. So nothing is super thick, kind of thinnish. Okay, and then last but not least, we have Amsterdam Pearl White with just a tiny, tiny bit of the satin enamels in pure white in there. Okay. There we go. And there's literally about a teaspoon of the satin enamels in this 16 ounce cup. So, all right. So what we are going to do tonight is not one, but two paint grenades. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna layer these at the same, actually I'm gonna layer them one at a time, and then we're gonna thin out one of our colors as a flow extender. Okay, I'm going to start with just a little bit of white on the bottom. And the paint grenade is a technique that I saw my friend Jeremy Massey doing from Massey Art Studio and it was so much fun. HOA and I did a paint grenade pour before. I will link that for you up here. HOA did one which was awesome. Okay, so let's start with some of the metallic cobalt. And then we're gonna go into our Naples yellow. Some of the burnt orange. Gosh, that's pretty. And then some of our fire opal. It's so pink tonight, it's amazing. And then we're gonna put a little bit more white in there. And then some of our greenish blue. And I'm gonna go back to the Naples yellow. You want to layer your cups with contrast. Light, dark, light, dark. Okay, we're going to go into the burnt orange. And let's put some of the metallic cobalt next to that. Fire level. And greenish blue. Okay, so that one's pretty good. And let's layer our little one now. Okay, let's start this one off with a little bit of white. And we're gonna come right into the burnt orange with this one. And 
yellow. It's a fire opal. And some greenish blue. Cups are ready to be dipped onto the canvas. Um, let's use our bluish green as a full extender. And just to increase the amount that I have, I'm going to take some of the metallic cobalt and put it in there. And then we're going to add some water. So those two colors are actually very similar. Extender is ready. Let's see. That's our 24 by 24. Okay. I'm going to just put down a little puddle of the fire opal to flip it into. We're going to do that big one first. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do the process. Sorry, Lux. So we're going to do a flip cup onto the canvas, and then we're going to pull the pin after a minute. Here we go. Ooh. That wasn't as neat as it could have been. But look at those cells. <laughs> okay, this one, let's put a puddle of Naples yellow down. Where should we? All right, put a puddle of Naples yellow down. And we're going to flip this one onto here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Much neater. <laughs> I'm going to turn this this way so that HOA can see what's happening. All right, let's uh, pull the pin on our paint grenade. You ready? Very cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to take our flow extender. Now, I'm resisting the urge to put some in between there because remember, this is thinner than those paints. So, we're just going to go around this.
Alright. That's looking pretty good. Oh, there's the big one. Not the cells on this. I'm just gonna shove this down this way because I don't want it coming off this edge. But the fire looks just amazing. I'm just gonna take my finger and come in through here. Let's torch this. Can you see this in here actually? Uh, there's like some fire opal cells and some of the burnt orange with a little bit of Naples yellow. That's why you put them next to each other. I was wondering. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a lot of the weight of the paint up here. Let's go that way first. Here we go. I'm just gonna walk this down the canvas. Off that edge, just like that. And bring it back down towards the center. I'm going to go off of this side now. Although that's a really cool thing on the corner, I hate to lose it, but okay. Now we're going to go down off of that bottom edge. Extender moves off easy first. Just down to the center of it. Okay, let's look at this. There's some really cool stuff happening in here. What do you think about this right here? I took some of that off. I kind of hate to lose any of this though. I think it's okay. I think it's going to space. Bam it. I was kind of thinking about using the marble. <laughs> there's nothing underneath it though. Hmm? There's nothing underneath it. No, but there's a lot of colors around on the sides that I can pull through there. I think I do want to do the marble. Okay. Let's pull our friend out here. Let's see. Minimal. We're not going to do a lot. It's like you're reading my mind. <laughs> okay. There we go. Tilt it a little bit and get rid of some of that. I think I want to tilt it a little bit and get rid of some of that white. You might have to do the marble one more time. But that's okay. okay. Stick this down. Take some of this out of the edge off too. 
too. Do you think it needs any more marbling along this side? Because mm -hmm. there isn't really any. No, I think that's what's going on there is really cool. It would be cooler with marble though. So do it. <laughs> stop right there so that's pretty cool looking and if I did take the marble in through these cells we get more of this effect which would be kind of neat yeah I think I do want to put the marble back on there Thing for your eye to catch on to. Hi, it's pretty cool. Yes? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm going to torch it one more time. I'm going to clean up my edges while HOA takes you in for a little close-up. And then we'll torch it. Torch. It's a pretty pink grenade. <laughs> so I really like this. I love that you can see the burnt orange. I'm glad I brought the marble through there because it opened it up and brought some of that Naples yellow through, which gave us some contrast in there versus that kind of haze that was on the top. I love that metallic cobalt, it's gorgeous. 
I really like where you can see the fire opal because that's going to dry super blingy. I love that the burnt orange is darker than the fire opal and you see both of them together. Pretty cool. Very pretty. Okay. I like this one a lot. So this one probably won't be dry for me to show you tomorrow, but I will show you it on Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I'll see you real soon.